So if you watched my last episode, I talked about um, shooting with the model. And I've talked in the past about shooting with models. Um, I always say bring somebody with you. So if you're a model watching this for the first time or a photographer and you're agitated that they brought somebody, don't be. It's your safety. It's their safety. Um, always have somebody with you. Always have somebody with them. Uh, one or the other. On the bottom of the, of the frame, you can kind of see, I believe his name is Freddy. Or at least that's how his handle is on IG. Um, he's getting his video stuff ready. You'll see him pop in uh, later. But um, I'm using, on this shot right here, I'm using the, the Fuji X-T3. And then you're going to see when I go into the studio, the actual studio, because this is a home studio um, that I shoot with an X-T4 and I think the Sony uh, A7 III. Um, there's a A1 coming up here pretty soon. I'm going to do a couple of thoughts of process, process about the A1 versus the X-T5. Uh, that's a working video. Anyway, so I was using a lot of side light here and um, from this window. And this place is beautiful because it has a lot of windows open everywhere. And um, I really like the light. And I recommend all the time showing you know, the banger images to the parents or the, the model itself uh, all the time. Uh, this shot, I really wanted, I really loved this shot, and she didn't like any of the photos from here. Um, but I really love the legs, the arms, we try to make triangles, she just, she didn't like it. So, um, okay, here's the studio shot, and it's dark. Now, if you paid attention, I shot, uh, I'm shooting a lot of my BTS with a GoPro, and you're like, well, why'd you spend 300 something, $400 on GoPro just to have it sit there? And it wasn't about that, it was... I didn't want to use my cameras to do a lot of this, this background stuff, this BTS. And so this is a GoPro 9, and you can see how grainy it is if you're watching. I don't know if you're watching on a phone or whatever, and I'm putting it in 4K, but it's super, super grainy. And um, the other one, the other shot on the outside was the first shot was shot with a Hero 9, and then the vertical shot was shot with a Hero 11. And I really like the GoPros. Batteries die on them super, super fast. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, anyway, so I'm going to talk about the flashes. This is a softbox. And this is a 8200 flash. And the photos that came out of here are pretty cool. They were really good. I'm going to splice some photos in here at the end. Uh, if you're interested in seeing kind of what the, the process was with the... Um, with this softbox. Now, I turned the softbox because I wanted to get just her face. And on the left-hand side, I know you can't see it, but there's a little red light. Um, there is a small speed light that's down there that I'm using. And so you'll see these other softboxes around, and Freddie's kind of walking around getting some BTS. He's getting, like, just video that he wants to get. And I'm always cool with letting other photographers come and do stuff. Um, I do do boudoir shooting, and so I don't let other photographers come in those, uh, uh, those kind of things. But, like, model shoots like this, I'm like, hey, man, you know, Come join. It's not that big a deal. Um, I'm not, you know, trying to gatekeep or anything like that. I want everybody to have an opportunity. Um, this one right here is a constant light on the right-hand side. Now, I do give it to you like this. If it's at 50%, it's going to last quite a long time. Um, I put this at 80%, and it died, I think, in four hours, which is pretty good. Um, at 50%, it's going to last you probably about six hours or so. Um, so let me talk about the setup here. On the left-hand side is the speed light. On the right hand side up here at the top is the softbox and i'm getting the softbox is the hair light the speed light is the um what is it the the backlight and then the main key light is that um that constant like this right there uh now i shoot this the the speed light up into the ceiling which i really like that this had an arch ceiling on it or an angled ceiling so the light fall off when i tested it was really nice it was just a perfect fall off. Shadows were great. Um, everything was where I wanted it to be. Softbox did what it was supposed to do. I had her moving back and forth because I wanted to get some kind of shadow. So I turned off the speed light. And um, I got a couple of, uh, like, I don't want to say harsh shadows, but really nice soft shadows on the side. And so I'm shooting here with um, the Fuji X-T4. And I love some of the shots that came out here. There, I'm going to switch cameras here in a second, I think, and I'm going to start shooting with the Sony. 
Um, the one thing I did find out, though, about the Fuji that I, I like about the Sony is the Sony has uh, white balance compensation for flash, and the Fuji just didn't have that. It has white balance compensation in the background, and when I try to um, bring out this white background just by itself with all the lights on, or the white car that I had earlier, everything kind of had this pinkish hue to it, and I think it was these two lights. It was the constant light on the right, and then this little lamp over here on the right-hand side, or light. It just had this kind of warm, kind of pinkish look, which I kind of went with. I was like, it's Valentine's. I, I like it. But the, for the black and white, I needed a straight white background. And so um, I like this setup in the studio. But overall, I think it's kind of, um, it's a little tight, but she has a lot of props. She has a lot of things. There's a chair on the right-hand side. There's a bunch of stuff going on in there that I didn't, I, I brought my own stuff and I didn't use her stuff because I kind of felt comfortable with my things. Um, I'm going to use her stuff here pretty soon, you know, with whatever she's got, her soft boxes and everything. And uh, she's got a really nice setup. She's got little snacks and water. Model is great to work with um, overall. Uh, I switched cameras here. Uh, her phone was sticking out the back. That's something you got to pay attention to, right? But I switched cameras and... Um, I'm shooting with a Sony now, and like I said, I'll show you some still images here. But overall, I think this was a really good shoot. I really did have fun. I like the studio. These are black and white, some red at the beginning, you know. Uh, but just kind of like a difference in natural light versus constant light. And you can just look at these videos or these images here. Um, I'm not going to really talk very much from here, but I hope you have a good day, good night, and um, we'll see you on the other side.